the Ketadyne B-Free Filter. I just hiked 1,165 miles on the Pacific Crest Trail before breaking my foot this year in 2022 using this the entire way. I want to give you my thoughts on the good, the bad, and whether or not I'd buy this again. Hello everyone, welcome back subscribers, and if you've come across this channel before, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please give it a like if you enjoy the content, but more importantly, just peruse around, see what you enjoy. I do things like gear reviews, hiking videos, truck camping, and such. Today, I wanted to give you a quick overview, or sort of a longer overview, of my experiences out on the PCT with this Catadyne B free filter and show you what they look like, well, what it looks like in terms of performance. What I liked, what I did not like, and really give you a verdict as to whether or not I would buy it again and if I would advise you to buy it at all. So on my right, we have my old filter. On my left, we have the newer filter that I got when I was back up home in the Lake Tahoe area, which is a little less than halfway through the PCT. So you'll see here that they're both filled. This is both filled with tap water, and I'm going to uh, basically do you a quick demonstration on, or give you a quick demonstration, not do you, <laughs> on filling up a one liter, this is an Aquafina water bottle. <clears throat> so what I found with this is that I really enjoyed it, but there were some drawbacks. There were some advantages, and some drawbacks. So let's go ahead and just sort of dive into my real world practical experience. And I'll start with the pros. The pros are that this is an easy enough filter. It's 42 millimeters, so not all of the water bottles are gonna fit like a smart water bottle. It's not gonna happen. But these, this is an aftermarket and I'll do a, a bottle and I'll do a review on that. But this is pretty easy to fit to some bottles and it's pretty easy to operate. You simply just pop the top like anything else and you squeeze, no big deal. Now, the biggest advantage or the draw and the selling point of the Ketadyne B Free is that it has an extremely fast flow rate, which that's true. Um, the other thing is that it is also very easy to clean. You simply just swish underwater or you just simply shake it really vigorously and that's all you have to do to clean it. <clears throat> There's not any back flushing or anything like that like you would a Sawyer squeeze. Uh, the downside to that though or to this filter is that it's rated for a thousand liters and that's not that much considering that some of the filters out there are rated at much higher than that. The Sawyer, for example, is like a million, and that's basically forever. Uh, the other thing that I saw was a drawback, and I found this out really quickly, was that if you screw too tightly on this, the ring here, the blue ring, will come loose and leak. So you gotta be careful with that. You gotta really tighten with the cap. Um, another thing that does happen with this, and it's a known issue, is that the flow rate at the beginning is wonderful. It's fantastic, and, and from what I can see, it's unbeatable. Really, it really is. However, as you use this, and it goes on and on and on, that flow rate will diminish. You can try to clean this as much as possible, but it will diminish, and you'll never get to where you start off, start off at, and I'll show you that here, um, because I just bought a brand new one. And the thing is, this slowed down to a noticeable point and I tried cleaning it many times and it just wasn't that great of a performer. So that's the down, the other big downside is that this will degrade over time and depending on how dirty the water is and on the PCT, I took from streams, I took from tap water, I took from uh, other people's water all the way down to cattle trough water for all of that, yes kettle trough water. It did a great job filtering it, for sure. But over time, this definitely degraded in terms of performance. I switched out the cap several times, as I did with this one. It still didn't matter because 
it just didn't achieve that same flow rate. So that's a con. You'll, you'll never be able to back flush it enough to get to the original flow rate, which is the biggest, in my opinion, the biggest selling point. So that is kind of the pro and con of it. It weighs about the same as others. It's very easy to use. It's not complicated at all. You simply screw it on, you're done. Um, having said that, um, I would say that um, if I were to, and, you know, kind of go at this again, you know, yes, I would probably buy it again, but I don't, you know, only, I'll show you some of the differences in performance. This had no issues or differences, I should say, in regular water versus trough water versus water in the Sierras. I used this particular filter all the way from mile zero through the desert, through the Sierras, all the way getting up to the Lake Tahoe area where I live. And then I switched out for this one. And I used this one basically up until Bernie Falls when my foot broke and I had to get off trail. <clears throat> and I have a brand new one that I'll show you what that looks like fresh out of the box and what that looks like. And again, it's very enticing. And, and, and I would, you know, see the same thing that you're gonna see. But uh, yeah, you can see the differences here in a second. So uh, let's go ahead and get to filtering about a lead. Oh, here's one thing to know. It doesn't matter how clogged or not it is, doesn't matter. You're not really gonna get per se a full liter of water, especially these bottles that I'll do a review on. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to try to filter these. We'll do a quick timer on it and see how long I can get as much as I can out of this and just do a flow rate demonstration for you there. And you'll see basically all that. So here is my original filter from the border of Mexico going all the way up to Lake Tahoe. I'm going to just basically try and get as much as I can into this bottle as fast as I can. And we'll go ahead and we'll time that. All right, in three, two, one, here we go. <clears throat> so that was 49 seconds. So I feel a little bit like a liar right now because I can guarantee you when I was out on trail, this did not perform that well. It's very bizarre. Although it also could be that this is tap water, um, but I definitely did not get that kind of performance out of this filter when I was out on trail. All right, so let's go ahead and use the newer filter and see how that performs. I certainly hope better than 49 seconds. It's a little bit interesting that <laughs> that old one performed so well when it was definitely, I guarantee it wasn't the same. So. We'll see how much I can get out of this one in three, two, one, start. This must have been the old one. So I'm gonna call that at a minute 17, really. <clears throat> you might have noticed how much harder I had to work to get that to filter. So I was definitely a little bit wrong in terms of this was the older one, that was the newer one, um, but this one took a bit longer. Now you might say, well, Jason, that's not that much longer. And it's not for most people sitting at home, that's true. But when you're out on trail and you're doing this multiple times a day, every day, this does add up and it definitely becomes a pain in the arse, to say the least. So looking at both of those performances, you would say, ah, it's not a big deal, but it does add up over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out, and then we're gonna try a brand new filter with tap water, and I'll show you how fast that filters and how easy it filters as well. Here is a brand new, I know it doesn't look like it, because Amazon just delivered it and they mess us up, they basically kind of beat it up. And I'm going to go ahead and leave a review on Amazon about this. But this is a brand new filter coming out of 
the box, literally, and I'm gonna show you, if I can, how quickly this filter can filter your water. Now, I think you might say, well, Jason, that's you know tap water. That's totally different than trough water. And yes, you're correct. However, I did have the brand new filter previously, and I took that out on trail, first time using it ever, and it filtered just as fast. It, it was lightning fast. It was shockingly fast. So I understand that yes, this is tap water. However, I am being consistent in showing you the performance of this. But I can also tell you the first time out the gate when you use this filter, whether it's tap water, filtered water, trough water, creek water, lake water, unless it's extremely or very much uh, filled with sediment and crap, you're gonna have the same performance that I'm gonna have. So don't uh, get too bent out of shape that what I showed you before was perhaps an artifact, because I can tell you, first-hand experience, it's definitely not. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to peel off the barrier here. There we go. So brand new Sawyer, I'm sorry, Sawyer, ha! Cation B-Free filter into this one liter. Let's see how fast it goes. And we'll start it in three, and how easy? Two, one, here we go. Already. I'm not even going to have to time lapse this. Look at that. That's crazy. So I'm going to call that. Right at, right at 30 seconds, right at 30 seconds for the same amount of water. So yes, it did sp splash a little bit. <clears throat> right out of the gate, this does perform better. Now you might, you might say, again, it's only seconds, but these seconds add up. They do add up over time as you are on a through hike. Now, if you're on a regular hike or a long distance or a lash or anything like that, I understand you might say this is not worth it, doesn't matter, blah, 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 totally get that. But what I will say is that this water filter is, first of all, good, and yes, I would buy it again, absolutely. Buy it again, I already bought it, and I'll use it on future hikes. I think it's worth the money, I think it's worth it, even though it's only ready for a thousand liters per se. However, I will say, don't be so surprised when this thing starts to slow down as you get through your longer hikes or as you get through the season. And don't be surprised, even if you try to wash it and do all that good stuff that they advise you to do, it just doesn't achieve that same flow rate. So is it worth it? In my opinion, yes. I really enjoy this water filter. It's great. I'll continue to use it. I have my Sawyer for other adventures as well. No big deal. But in my opinion, this is a great water filter. It doesn't filter out viruses from what I have read and known about this, but it does a fantastic job. And especially when you get a new one, it's, it's almost like magic. It's, it's crazy how quick this filters. However, like I said, you'll never achieve that same initial flow rate as you use it over time. It's just going to happen. You can't back flush it like you would a Sawyer and get that you know sort of same performance. So, and you also won't get the same number of liters out of this that you would a Sawyer or some of those uh, some of those other uh, water filters. So, anyways, I uh, hope you kind of enjoyed this a little bit. This is my real world experience with this filter out on the PCT in 2022. I really enjoyed it. It did the job for me. It worked fast, worked pretty well, did the job. So like I said, I'd, I'd buy it again. And I'd re also recommend it to other people. You don't have to go with Sawyer. You don't have to go with Platypus. You don't have to go with anything. Uh, it's your personal preference. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for listening. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. If there is a next video. Thanks, Andrew.